Hello everyone and welcome to the next lecture video in theory of computation. In previous lecture video, we studied about the construction of DFE through some examples. In this lecture video, we will see some more examples on the construction of DFE. Let's start. Our next type of DFE, that is type 3, is a DFE for the language that contains certain string as a substring. For example, suppose you are asked to construct a DFE that accepts set of all strings that contains 0, 1 as a substring. Here, the set of string that belongs to this language are 0, 1 itself, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, and so on. Since all these strings contains 0, 1 as a substring. Now the question here is to construct a DFE that accepts all these strings. For this, first we have to represent this basic string by using state diagram and then we have to grow this primitive state diagram to represent all these strings. Let's start with starting state Q0. Till now the machine does not read anything that is it reads epsilon. Now reading 0 from the state Q0 leads the machine into the state Q1 and reading the symbol 1 from the state Q1 leads it to the state Q2. Since this string belongs to this language, so this string should be accepted. Therefore, we double circle this state. Now, whatever comes after this string that is either 0 or 1 should be accepted. So, we make this transition. As we know, in DFA, we have to define all transitions from each state for all symbols. So, we have to define where to go from state Q0 on encountering the symbol 1. Similarly, where to go from state Q1 on encountering the symbol 0. If we encounter 1 in the state Q0, then we have to further check for 0, 1. If 0, 1 is present, then this string is accepted, otherwise rejected. This checking process is done by this whole transition. So we just make this transition on encountering the symbol 1. Now, what if the machine encounters 0 in the state Q1. To reach the state Q1, the machine already reads symbol 0. Now, if the machine encounters a 0 in a state Q1, then it only have to check 1 after it. This 1 is checked by this transition. So, we just make this transition. As we see, all the transitions are now defined. So, this is our final DFA for this language. Now, let's check whether this string is accepted or rejected. Initially, the machine is in the state Q0, reading this first one symbol from Q0 remains in the same state Q0 and reading 0 from Q0 leads to the state Q1 and reading 0 in the state Q1 remains in the state Q1 and then reading 1 in the state Q1 leads to the state Q2 which is accepting state. That's why this string is accepted by this DFE. This tracing technique is informal technique. In formal way, you have to calculate del of Q0 comma 1 0 0 1 in order to find whether this string is accepted 
or rejected. So let's calculate which is equals to del of delta cap of q naught comma one zero zero comma one equals to del of del of delta cap of q naught comma one zero comma zero comma one equals to delta of delta of delta of delta cap of q naught comma one comma zero equals to delta of delta of delta of delta of delta cap of q naught comma epsilon comma one comma zero comma zero comma one equals to delta of delta of delta of delta of now this is equals to q naught comma one this one comma zero comma zero comma one equals to delta of delta of delta of this is equals to q zero since reading the symbol one in the state q naught remains in the same state that is q naught comma this zero zero one equals to delta of delta of this is equals to q one comma zero comma one equals to delta of this is equals to q two comma one which is equals to q two here the q2 is accepting state therefore this whole string is accepted by this df similarly you can verify other strings too let's see one more example of the above type suppose you are asked to construct a dfa that accepts set of all strings that contains a a b as a substring over the alphabet a comma b to construct the dfa for this language first we have to construct a state diagram that represents this basic string so let's start with a starting state q0 reading a from the starting state q0 leads the machine in the state q1 and then reading the next a from the state q1 leads the machine into the state q2 then reading b from the state q2 leads to the state q3 since this basic string belongs to this language so it should be accepted that's why here we double circle this state after reading this whole string from starting state q0 the machine is in the state q3 now whatever comes after this state that is either 0 or 1 should be accepted that's why we make this transition on a comma b so now suppose the machine is in the state q0 that is it does not read anything till now then what if the machine reads the symbol b in the state q naught in that case there might be possibility that a a b comes after this b so we have to further check for this substring so this checking process is done by this whole transition so we just make this transition on b similarly what if the machine reads a symbol b in the state q1 in that case the machine already reads a symbol a then if the machine reads symbol b in the state q1 there might be possibility for the occurrence of a a b further so we have to check this string this checking process is done from here to here so we make a transition 
q1 to q0 on encountering the symbol p similarly what if the machine reads a symbol a from the state q2 in that case the machine already reads a symbol aaa then if it reads another symbol a in the state q2 then we have to check only for the symbol b this checking process is performed by this transition so we simply make this transition on the input b in the state q2 here we we'll define all the transitions from each state on each input that's why this is our final dfa for this language now let's verify this dfa by taking a string a b a a b a initially the machine is in the state q not now if it reads the first symbol a it moves to the state q1 similarly reading b from state q1 changes its state to q0 then reading this a from state q0 changes its state to q1 and then reading this symbol changes to the state q2 and then reading this symbol in the state q2 changes to the state q3 and finally reading this last a symbol in the state q3 remains in the same state q3 so after processing this whole string from the starting state q0 the final state is q3 which is accepting state that's why this string is accepted similarly you can verify other strings too now let's see how to design a dfa that is just opposite of type 3 that is dfa for the language that does not contains certain specified string for example construct a dfa for the language that does not contains 0 1 as a substring to construct the dfa for this language we have to first represent this basic string by using state diagram so let's start here q0 is the starting state and reading the first zero symbols leads to the state q1 and the second symbol 1 leads to the state q2 here this 0 1 string does not belongs to this language so this 0 1 should not be accepted by our dfa that's why we do not double circle this state now whatever the symbol that is either 0 or 1 comes after this 0 1 should not be accepted as 0 1 is already encountered so here whatever we read that is 0 or either 1 we do not accept as i already told you that in dfa we have to define all possible transitions that is for each state and input symbol we have to define where to move so let's define the transition from state q0 for the input symbol 1 here the machine it starts with the state q0 in that case the machine does not read anything that is it only represents a string epsilon in q0 state so this epsilon does not contain 0 1 so this epsilon belongs to this language therefore this epsilon should be accepted that's why we double circle q0 state now what if the machine 
reads a symbol 1 in Q0 state. In that case, there might be possibility of the occurrence of 0, 1 after this 1. So, we have to check this 0, 1 comes after this 1 or not. If 0, 1 comes after this 1, then it should be rejected, otherwise should be accepted. The checking of this 0, 1 is done by this whole transition from Q0 to Q2. That's why we make this transition on 1. Similarly, whenever the machine is in the state Q1, it only represents 0 string till now. Since the machine reaches to Q1 state from Q0 by reading this 0. So this 0 also belongs to our language because it does not contain 0 1 as a substring. So here we double circle this state 2 to represent this 0. Now what if the machine reads symbol 0 in Q1 state that is another 0 here. In that case we have to only check whether 1 comes after this 0 or not. If 1 comes then we have to reject this whole string otherwise it should be accepted. So this checking of 1 is performed by this transition. So we make this transition on 0. Now let's see what if we make this transition from Q1 to Q0 on 0 in instead of this. In that case, 0, 0 and 1 is accepted by this TFE. Since 0 from this state leads to this state and another 0 from this state leads to this state and after reading this final one in this state remains in the same state Q0 which is accepting states that's why this string is accepted by this DFA but as we know it consists of 0 1 as a substring so it should be rejected by this DFA hence we are not allowed it to make this transition so our correct DFA is this one. As we see, we define all the possible transition. So this is our final DFA for this language. Now let's compare this DFA, that is the DFA that does not contain 0, 1 as a substring with the DFA that contains 0, 1 as a substring. If you carefully analyze these two state diagrams, then you will find that all the transitions and the number of states are same and the only difference is that non-accepting states in this DFA that is Q0 and Q1 changes to accepting state in this DFA. Similarly, the accepting state Q2 in this DFA changes to non-accepting state Q2 in this DFA. So we can say while making the DFA for the opposite language of the given language just change the accepting states of this given language to non-accepting and non-accepting states to accepting states. That's all in this section. If you have any queries, then please leave the comment and thank you for watching.